We've got bear boat racing at 7 p.m. Naked. No, that's B E A R. We're going to do a little treasure hunt, aren't we, Amy? We are. For a faded <laughs> Banksy. Do some more. <laughs> <laughs> Leave this poor lady Listen. alone. <laughs> Good afternoon, everyone, from the gorgeous West Dorset seaside town of Lyme Regis. And look, here behind, we've got the famous Cobb Harbour. We're going to get down there later as well. There's a regatta down there. Let's see if anything's going on today because it's been going for a few days already. And at the moment, I'm standing on a viewing platform at the Alexandra Hotel and Restaurant. They've got some beautiful gardens out the back. A couple of days ago, my brother got married to the beautiful Catherine. So I hope you guys are having a fantastic honeymoon. What we're going to do, we're going to get amongst it as usual, chat to the lovely people of Lyme Regis. We're going to talk about the history, obviously get on the cob, and we're going to get stuck in. So join me on the tour through Lyme Regis. I'll see you in a bit. Rightio, oh, we're leaving the Alexandra Hotel. We're going to get stuck into the middle of the town here in Lyme Regis. So if you're a bit of an explorer, this is the place to be. You've got the Jurassic Coast here. You can take a little walk up to, not a walk, probably a drive actually up to Charmouth. Actually, you can probably walk there from the coastline up to Charmouth. Bring a bit of a hammer with you and smash a few rocks up on the beach in that search for dinosaurs. Unlikely that you'll find a dinosaur. You'll probably find an ammonite, which everyone finds. If you found a dinosaur, you would probably make a lot of money and sell it to a museum. Look at this. Right, we've got the Old Forge fossil shop coming up. Hello, sir. How you doing? You all right? I was just admiring your Tyrannosaurus Rex head here. Yeah. It was found in South Dakota by yeah. a man named Stan. So the dinosaur is called Stan. And it's actually um, right. the head of a male T-Rex. Head of a male T-Rex, okay. the female T-Rex is actually bigger. So. The female T-Rex is bigger? This is an actual replica. Yeah, so that's what the real one looks like. So right, because I went the other day with my hammer down to the Jurassic Coast in Charmouth. I thought yeah. I can probably find a T-Rex well, uh, with a small hammer you can't actually on the cliff. Find <laughs> here, you can find ichthyosaurs. We do have an ichthyosaur skull. Do you? Blend. Is that is that a real that is a real That's one? That's a cast of a real, real one. Look. This is an ichthyosaur approximately 190 million years old. The cast has been taken from the original. So this is what you could find if you go out with your hammer and scale the cliffs at Charmer for anywhere around here on the Jurassic Coast. Thank you, mate. Take care. Have a nice day. You too. Cheers. <laughs> I wonder how he's getting on. Sometimes called the Pearl of Dorset. You can see why. You can see why, can't you? Are you a local? No, I'm not. You're not. Do you know what? I haven't met, I haven't met a local yet. I haven't met there's one no local. Lo no locals here. Locals don't exist here. I reckon there's about four locals here. Yeah. It's like a museum. Everyone goes, yeah. oh, you know what? We'll just turn up for a, for a day. You know, we'll pretend that this is actually a museum. It's not real. <laughs> right, so we are heading towards the Cobb. The famous Cobb Harbour. Now, on the way, I can hear, and you probably can as well, an announcer. Now that's probably something to do with the regatta, so we're going to find out what that is right now. Here we go. Hello, right, ladies. Hello. How's it going? You alright? Very good. We've got the um, the Lim Rhythm Kings band playing today. Well, there's two of them actually. The Lim. The finest. Oh, I thought it was Lime. I thought this was Lime. No, these, we've got the river. The, the river Lim. The river Lim. Oh, the river Lim. Not river and you Lime. can spell it L Y M. Yeah. Or L I M. Right. Uh, at six o'clock, we've got egg catching. Egg which, catching. Oh, egg catching. That can be very messy. <laughs> So that's on the sandy beach down there. Oh, yeah. If you can keep your egg in one piece till yeah. the very end, Do you, know what? you and your partner. I've got a secret for you. I've always been able to keep my egg safe. I'm glad to hear that. Always. And Even when I'm making boiled eggs in the morning. Yes. Yeah. No cracking then. No, I nurture it a very complete, carefully a in a glass. Complete shell. Yeah, Lovely. complete that's shell. That's what we want. So I'll be good at that. Very good. We've got bare boat racing at 7 p.m. Naked. No, that's B E A R. So that's teddy bear racing. Oh, so you'll be excited there it, as well. It will. I, I was know. starting to think the Lime but, yeah, locals no, were a not, bit more. This is a family, liberal. A family festival here. Oh, okay, okay. Right, good. And what time is the carnival procession? The carnival procession starts out from Homebush Car Park in yep. Pound Street lovely. at 8 pm. 8 pm. Right, thank you very much, Eva. All right, then. No You've problem. been a lovely sport. Thank okay, you so much. Right. You take come care. Come to Lime Regis, come to the carnival. <laughs> it's beautiful.
Rightio, we're at the famous Cobb Breakwater, Cobb Harbour. Circa 1294 and it offered protection from the sea and it was initially made from boulders and wood. Can you imagine that? Look all the boats in the harbour. Obviously the tide's out at the moment. But yeah, it's beautiful. Look at the cliffs in the background. What an amazing view. They have this thing as well called Candle on the Cob. Sounds like a really bad song, doesn't it? <laughs> anyway, um, it started, and I think, I think it started in uh, the year 2000. A couple of guys set it up. Now it's been taken over by the Rotary Society. Correct me if I'm wrong. Um, and every year, they put tea lights around the whole of the cob, the whole of this harbour, and they light it up, um, and it looks beautiful. I might be mistaken, but I think that might actually be happening this weekend. I'll have to check. But anyway, I'll leave the, uh, I'll leave the website details. Right, so I'm on the way back from the cob. I'm just walking around the outskirts of Lyme Regis, and it's just beautiful. There's people on the beaches down here. The kids are checking in the rock pools, and they've got their nets with them. There's people sunbathing. Some brave souls there jumping into the sea and there's lots of little nooks and crannies and little stairs and narrow streets to climb as well around here. So I'm going to go up one of them now because there's a signpost towards the Lyme Regis Museum. Okay. So here's the museum. It says here, Mary Anning, 1799 to 1847. The famous fossilist was born here in a house on the site of Lyme Regis Museum. The house was her home and her fossil shop until 1826. So Mary Anning was a very famous fossil collector, dealer, paleontologist. She became famous for some of the major finds that she made here in Lyme Regis. Mary Anning's discoveries were some of the most significant geological finds of all time. They provided evidence that was central to the development of new ideas about the history of the Earth. With her brother, she found the first complete ichthyosaur in 1810, and over the years, further sensational finds were made. New, more complete skeletons of ichthyosaurs were discovered, followed by a complete skeleton of the long-necked Plesiosaurus, the sea dragon, in 1823. Mary died from breast cancer, age 47. Her family tombstone can be found right here at St Michael the Archangel Church in the cemetery. Hey, you got a fossil yard sale here? Eh? Anyone bought anything? No, not yet. No? Not yet. Not yet. <laughs> I scared them off. <laughs> That's amazing. And do you, um, do, you, do you paint these? You try and get the natural colour as natural as possible with varnish or how do you do it? I've got lacquer on them to kind of brings out the relief of them. Brings out the relief. Bit of makeup, give them the wet look. So it's a lacquer, and it brings out the wet look. Look at these beautiful fossils. And this gentleman is uh, selling his wares from his house, obviously. Yeah. 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 Look at that. It's a fossil yard sale. How beautiful. Thank you very much. Now we are heading through the back streets of Lyme. I believe the mill is around here, with some really nice coffee shops, and uh, they do tours there and so on. So. Let's go and check that out, shall we? Riverlin path to Uplime Town Mill. There we go. Working water mill, art galleries, food and drink, creative artisans. Okay, now we can see the town mill right in front of us. And there is the River Lim. There's the town mill. The mill's closed, brilliant. All right, so I can't take you into the mill because it's closed. Please come back. I'll leave some information for you though in the description, so it's all good. And we've got the pottery workshop. Hello, how are you doing? And we've got a gentleman making pottery. And that is extremely difficult to do, I can tell you. I've given it a try. There's lots of different types of clay, aren't there? So you've got, this is, this is a stoneware clay. Yep which uh, fire's pretty hot. Okay. My colleague there just does earthenware, which is a bit cooler, so it's, the fire's a bit cooler. Okay. This one's a little bit denser, and then the, the highest firing one is porcelain. Okay. How long did it take you to craft your uh, 
your specialty, your art for this? How long does it take? Because um, I was a disaster when I attempted this. Yeah, that, that cup took nine years and five minutes to make. <laughs> nine years and five minutes? And yeah. what you're saying is, yeah, all that time, practice and getting your skill level up. It might take five minutes, but it actually takes nine years and five minutes to throw a cup. Thank you so much. Thank you so much for showing oh, yeah. me. That's, That's really cool. Good. You take care. Oh, this is definitely my favourite part of Lime Regis. And I know it's only small, but look, they've got the Lime Regis Brewery. The Lime Regis Microbrewery and Tap Room. And they've got craft beers, artisan cider, wines, splendid wines apparently, and small batch gins. Right, let's queue up and have a little look, shall we? Used to have a brewery in Romford where I was brought up, and the smell of hops was incredible. Have you, have you come from a brewery now? Yeah, Wrexham, famous brewery. Is it? Say again. The world famous Wrexham Lager. The world famous Wrexham Lager. Where is Wrexham? Whereabouts North is it? Wales. North Wales. That's right. It actually, the lager was actually on the Titanic. Really? Wrexham Lager was on the Titanic. World Jeez. famous, mate. Tell you. Oh, I am. There you go. Never knew that. Never knew that. Hello, sir. Is this the only brewery in uh, in the area then? Uh, so, yeah, one uh, brewery. Right. Uh, we also have a facility about 20 minutes away. Right. So this here is our microbrewery. Oh, right. Down. This is this is the setup. This is the microbrewery setup, right? Yeah. What's, do you know what's going on here? <laughs> I know they what's going on. So okay. each one of these three uh, cauldrons is yeah. where the initial beer is brewed and how it's decided what, what, what it's going to turn into. Okay. And then these three uh, tanks are where it's left to ferment. Okay. And then we moved on to a different uh, one where it's chilled. Lovely. Eventually kept and all cast. Amazing. Yeah. How many beers do you brew here in this actual Establishment, so actual place here. We do about 600 pints a day. Well, not a day. Sorry, 600 pints in a one run. Uh, we do two lagers. Yep. We do a long short, which is, only takes about uh, two weeks to do. Yep. We do a uh, golden cap, which takes about five weeks. That's, the difference is uh, the other one's a bit uh, hoppier and stronger. Yep. And it's just dependent on the bit. Lovely. It's, uh, real science but thanks so much bud enjoy okay so that was the microbrewery lovely uh, my girlfriend's just turned up she's bought me a, a chocolate and a hazelnut crepe so um, we're gonna eat that and then um, see what else we can find okay so we're moving away from the mill and we've got here river limb path to up lime so let's find out what's over here so this is the river limb the river limb it's gorgeous and we have a local lady hello how are you doing do you know what i've been meaning to meet the locals but don't you live in a beautiful place look at this I'm not really a local i'm still a jekyll a, a gecko a gecko what's yeah. that um a foreigner because i've only been here <laughs> since so 1980 Five. <laughs> oh, I think you're definitely a local if yeah, you've been here since 1985. <laughs> a grockle it is, not a jekyll. Is that what they call lo uh, people that don't originate from this area then, a yeah, grockle? Yeah, yeah. Have Brilliant. you seen the, um, the painting, Banks's painting? Banks's painting down there? On the, on the wall up there. It's very faded now. Where is it now? Whereabouts is that? Down near the water, there's a, pit, a, a very faded now white bird right like a stork yeah on the side of the building and lovely banksy did it overnight it appeared overnight oh it's quite a few years ago now well, we're going to do a little treasure hunt aren't we Amy? we are for a faded <laughs> banksy do some more <laughs> <laughs> leave well, this poor lady listen, alone <laughs> I'm, going to, I'm going to leave you to, i'm going to leave you to your gardening <laughs> isn't that cool so we're gonna we're gonna take a look for this banksy now didn't take too much detective work, although it is very faded. This apparently is the Banksy, unless any locals in the comments want to dispute that this is the Banksy, but I'm going to turn it round and I'm going to zoom in. All right, so apparently this here is a Banksy. It looks like, what do you reckon, Amy? Like an origami bird, yeah. you say. To be fair, you can't really make much out, can you? There you go. I might do some research on this when I get back and see if it really is a Banksy. So there you go. You never know what you're gonna find. And as I always say, locals, they're the ones that lead you to the best places, 100%. Much better than reading from some sort of tour book. You can get it from the horse's mouth. 
Right, I'm going to say goodbye here in Lyme Regis in this gorgeous park. Look at this house in the background. Are they Venetian blinds? Beautiful, absolutely beautiful. Here on the River Lim with this gorgeous setting, having just seen the Banksy. And what can I say? Get yourself down to this beautiful seaside town of Lyme Regis. Hopefully I can get this out for the carnival on Saturday. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I shall see you in my next video soon. Take care, cheers.